What is going on, everybody? It's Jordan Johnson here, Johnson Alpha Capital. Um, I know it's been a while since I made a video, you all. Um, I don't usually make videos on Fridays, but because it's been so long, I decided let's make a um, nice little video while I trade the New York session away in NFP, which is non foreign payroll. Um, a lot of you all know, um, you know, I, w I went through a little process this week where I was switching brokers, uh, where I went from TD Ameritrade to take my Forex trade into IG. IG been pretty good so far um, with the um, coronavirus and everything going on. Their customer service wasn't the best, uh, which is understandable. I had to, you know, open up the account, get everything verified, send in documents, blah, blah, blah. Then I had to wire the money. Um, in um, it's a pretty decent account, not nothing you know massive. Uh, um, that's my edge walk, that's my trading journal. Where is the account? Here we go. Um, um, $23,000 in the account to start, nothing massive. I plan on growing that, adding to it. Um, but let's jump right into it. Um, it's 8 24, it's about six minutes until the news come out. Um, I think most people is expecting some type of a um expecting bearish move expecting some um, negative news for the dollar uh, with the corona going on right now i think it's no secret a lot of people are laid off a lot of people um are not working um so i think it's normal to expect the um you know the unemployment number to be high which would be negative for the dollar um, but one thing to realize with the fundamental data um that information could already be priced in to the charts already so let's say the number come out and it, it's a bad number but it's not as bad as people thought it could be so that could be uh you know bullish sign for the dollar if it's not as bad you know so i can see any i can see either one of those scenarios happening um but let's look at pound dollar i sent out pound dollar yesterday i was looking at a bullet i was looking at a bullish setup on pound dollar um still am um let's go to a four hour time frame um, we have five, we're almost five waves off of this low here. One, two, three. We're in a wave four now. Looking for this push up in wave five. Um, see, we got this move down here. One, move up here. Um, so I am going to relabel this to a W. Probably X here. This Y here. Um, we do have this area of support, which might get broke going into NFP and look to probably buy from once these is broken. Um, pound dollar, but overall, I'm still looking for a bullish setup up into my blue box zone. I sent out pound yen yesterday, too. Um, was looking bullish on pound yen as well. Um, bullish trend kind of creating same complex structure here. I was looking at this as an A, a B, a C, a impulsive move up here. One, two, three, however you count it. Um, I was looking at this as kind of one correction here, bullish flag. Um, it played out kind of complex, but this is um, still the same support structure, same demand area down here. Wait to see if these lows get broken. Um, then I'll, I'll reevaluate this trade. Um, going into it, let's look at the dollar. So yesterday I didn't send out the, my forecast on the dollar, but um, I knew as we was pro pretty much just we going into these levels here, especially when we're right around here, I knew we was going to get into this orange box. So I'm looking at this as kind of a W, X, Y, another X, Z. So we could make this... Um, Let's go to a four hour time frame. Kind of looking for another move down here. We'll see if that happens. Um, it is kind of looking strong right now, but I, just, I still do like this move down here. So let's relabel that. It's not going to be WXYZ. That WXY just made up a bigger W. WXY. That is going to be a intermediate degree. So 
So that S N F P is about to come out. Two minutes away. Drop to my fifteen. Mm -mm. I had another video that I was making that I started making around eight o'clock, which is about almost thirty minutes ago. But I was, I did it on Trading View, uh, so I don't make a lot of videos on Trading View. Um, it kind of got deleted as, as I was getting towards the end, so I had to start over. I know it seems like hopefully it don't seem like a lot of this stuff is rushed. You all get pound yen. Pound Swiss. Hmm. I see this happen live. It's not worth that I set up on Euro Swiss. Mm, let's go to Euro Swiss. It is an alert that I was looking for. I'm going to delete the alert now. Um, my trade idea is pretty much invalid as of right now. We broke this low. That's not really what I was looking for. Guess we could still get a move up here. How many pips am I from this low? So that's not bad. Some risk seven pips for twenty-seven. I was going to retest that low. Where's Euro Swiss? Not quite over the 50 on this one. I don't like it. So the data is a little bit different when you go to your brokerage. Uh, see what pound, see what the dollar pairs is doing. See? Well, at least initially, it's kind of bullish. Let's go to Forex Factory. Now for payroll, the forecast was 100k. We came out at negative 701,000. See, it's just what people saying why we didn't get a, a huge drop. And the dollar, although negative news came out, because you all, like I said, it could already be priced in to where no huge reaction. But that's just the initial reaction. That's just a initial reaction. We'll probably get one. So I usually got Bloomberg going on my tablet. I probably need to. All right, listen to it, man. I want to see what we're going to do here as we approach this low on the pound dollar.
Count five waves off her one test, and that's why I was looking at taking this trade actually to the downside. Probably target 19400. We'll see how this close. Pound yen still dropping. Pound yen, I'm looking for a break and close above this um, resistance area here. That'll signal me an entry to get in. This move here is impulsive, so until we break these lows, I'm not really worried about it. And I'm flat in the market, by the way, you are. Head is strong. Was looking for a bullish. I, I like this setup. I wasn't looking at this yesterday, um, but this morning when I woke up, I did like what I seen here. Good potential bullish move up into this blue box. I like this area of support. As you can see, nice impulsive move. A, B, C. It can't get too much more clear than that. I really do like this move a lot. Can even go down to a smaller time frame. Uh, five minute. Like I said, you gotta be durable just to kind of see what's going on. One, two, three. That's if we're playing. I'm looking. I am looking at this as an impulse. I do look like a five wave move up. Need some something bullish to come into the market to we gotta get some type of signal um to get in the market, you all that's the problem right now. And I'm not you know I see some decent setups that's happening. Um but however I am not getting no clear signals to get into the market. So this euro Pound. Huh. Huh, I might like what I see here on the Euro Pound. I like to have my 50 and mark that on the RSI. I, I, I do have a strategy where I do use that. I'm liking what I see. Still very, very. A lot of burst momentum on the higher time frames. But as you can see, this is starting to break down, you all. It's wedge pattern. I'm starting to break down. I'll probably draw that a bit right there. That's, that's, that's real shallow.
on the daily chart we're sitting right on at 200 I'm uh. If I get a nice close within this next 15 or well, next five minutes, I wouldn't mind getting bullish there. Let's look at this on the four hour again. I like it. Complex correction down. I do like that actually. So, there's a difference between a trading idea and actually executing the trade. This is my idea. Once you create an idea of an analysis, then you it's your job to take whatever trading strategy you use and try to make some profits from it. So, Euro Pound, um, buy setup, All right, analysis. We are, we are at the end of a, a complex correction, WXY. We are at the end of a complex correction, WXY. There is strong support right above this 61.8% Fibonacci level. Look for bicep ups. Publish that. Okay, I've got that out the way. Uh, I know if I would have waited, I probably would have forgot to do it later. At the fifty, we could go. We could go lower. Oh, I do like this zone. If we was to go lower, where will my target levels be on this trade? It looks like so. I'm a. See, this is what I mean. This is a real swing trade. Ideally, I would get into this trade, you know, ideally, you know, who wouldn't want to take his 700 pips back up to the high. Um, but that would be a long play. Let's see how long it took for price to even get there. It took price 15 days to 
fall as much as it fail. And on top of that, that was about a 760 pip move. Yeah, I see pay with plummeted. So I'm pretty sure, let's, let's go back and look at the dollar. Um, I'm pretty sure it's dropping now. That's, that's, that'll be no surprise. Looks like I am going to enter this trade. So 25 pips stop. Put a standard on. It's a little bit over 1%. Euro Swiss keep triggering. Um, new order. We're going to put some stops at You see, I'm risking $416 on this trade. Um, I usually risk somewhere between 1% to 2%. I got a max of 3% I can risk per trade. Um, so it's just a little bit right below 2%. Trading journal, I uh, take picture. I mean, I, I kind of screenshot when I do get into trades. Okay, so with that being said, I'm pretty sure my euro yen trade is. Dollar hasn't quite fast. It's holding up after that negative news. Because it was already freaking priced in, you all. Euro pound. Probably not gonna get nothing on those pairs today. This is actually setting out to be. It's as dollar setting up to be sold again. Hourly. Just seeing where if we got some downside support levels, we have ref fit, we haven't even reached that fifty percent level. Like this, we got one, two, three. Don't really want to sh short that, actually. Really don't. Just don't see nothing. See, I, I don't really want to buy the dollar. I still want to short the dollar. I just don't got no setup dollar Canada. Look like it might be breaking out of this trend line. Huh. 
That might be interesting. It's pound dollar doing pound dollars tapping this low, like I said it would. Euro dollars not doing no better. I'm still bearish on the dollar, you all. So just remember that if you're taking going into the next week, I'm definitely looking at dollar yen. The that's telling me the yen is not strong. Uh, so let's see, pound yen. And I'm about to. This video is not going to be too much longer, you all. Still, remember, break above this will trigger a entry. Euro yen. That's a probably be the one I tried. I am more bullish on the euro than I am on the pound at this very moment. Swiss is strong. The CAD is strong, you all. Uh, so how would I play that with the cab being strong? Um, pounds not as strong as it, as I, at least right now, as it has been. Um, so I'm I'm looking at probably short in dollar Canada. I'm like I mean I do like that setup of short in dollar Canada. Let's see, I'm gonna say this is uh, it's about 80 pips, 90 pips, give or take, from that, from a good stop level. Let's put some extensions out. Uh, 130, that's not a Get enough risk to reward 90 pips for 130. But the thing is, it says you don't play it as a swing setup. Uh, if I play it as a swing setup, remember the forecast I sent yesterday, anticipating this big drop here. It could be the start of it. Let's see where are we lining up. It looks like, yeah, eight minutes. Probably, I'm probably on track to short this stops above here yep that's probably what we're going to do Dollar Canada, where are you? Which template is that? Look at Dollar Canada. It's looking like a pretty good setup, you are. Pretty clean setup. Pretty 
pretty clean set or so. We got six minutes for the bar close. It's gonna be a pretty good trade. It's gonna be a pretty good trade. I think about a hundred pip stock. Um, like I said, so we probably going to end this, what time is it, uh, 8.54, probably around 9.05 or so, Euro Yen, probably let's see if we going to, is Euro Yen going to give me the setup, you all, maybe, maybe a perfect setup. So we are looking at Euro Yen. Looking at a Euro Yen buy. Um, looking at a Dollar Canada short. It'd be nice if we can get a good engulfing here. See, so that's only a 17, 18 pips to make 80. That's good. Um, let me send this out. Oh, what was this? Is that Euro Swiss again? Uh, let me send this out to you all. Where's my Telegram? Euro Pound. I know not many of you all are going to probably watch this all the way to the end. Um, unless, you know, I post a letter that, hey, I made X amount of dollars on um, this pair. Go watch the live video and see how I did it. All no, right, call to action. Um, you know, but, you know, profits, wins, and losses, you know, that's, I mean, when you trade, you're going to have wins and losses. Um, so I hope that's not what you get from this. It's just, this is just a, pretty straightforward video of me just brainstorming how i go through the charts analyze try to find setups um uh, like I, said, I really wasn't even planning on doing this video today i just kind of feel bad because i haven't really made any videos for you all in a while um and i do like putting out content um people always message me you know asking me questions and stuff and i do i like that uh, kind of makes you feel important. Um, Dollar Canada, fifteen minute time frame. What are we doing? It's like we might get some pull, but I don't think I was looking at it on that. I was looking at this short and probably from an hourly perspective, which I was. So we got two minutes there. So I'm looking at taking trades on Dollar Canada and taking trades on uh, da, 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 da. I, I think I just gotta save this template. I don't wanna put my stochastic on her every time. So we got Dollar Canada, we got Euro Pound, and I said Euro Yen. I'm looking at this buy setup. I was using the 15, let's go back here. I was using the hourly time frame. Come back here. Yeah, see on this hourly time frame I'm getting a sale set up, but uh, see it's not when you translate it over, it's not giving me the
I'm sure you gotta be careful sometimes. Um, sometimes it's kind of picky. Do you are you gonna go with the trading view data? Or are you gonna go with the uh, your broker data? Me, I kind of err on precaution. I like I want to see my setups go with the data that I do have um, on my brokerage on MT4 because that's is where I'm executing the trades at. Uh, you know. I am kind of picky there. It looks like we're not getting this engulfing as I would have expected. Um, as a hope we still could get one more minute. I might not better short it until next 15 minute candle close. I gotta turn that alert off. I, I do keep getting those Fibonacci. Expansions. So, set up. Might get it, we might not. Uh, I need to see us bullish over that. Uh, let's go look at Dollar Canada. I do see the setup on Dollar Canada. Uh, let's take it. How many pips? So, well, this is, this is my well say 100 pips. 100 pips. If I'm risking a hundred pips, let's see. Mm, 562. Let's place a uh, point five. That's 500. I'm not even that. It's Where are we targeting? So, initially, we're from at 100 pips, $348 to make $1,800. Uh, you know, we're a manager trader. I do have a strategy of how I manage it. Remember, I told you. Once I enter the charts, I'm about to take this alert off on Euro Swiss, but I'm gonna go look at it first. Uh, let's take a picture, screenshot. Why I entered the trade. Okay, uh, so I got that out the way. Okay, I think I don't like. I gotta journal these trades. That's tedious. Uh, Euro yen. Uh, 
Look at that, it's taking off already. But I didn't get the entry. Did I did it close on this last bar? I don't think so. Uh, maybe. Remember I was looking at Euro Yen, I didn't get the setup on my MT4. So we'll see what we get in eleven minutes, folks. This could be this could probably be a good try. Um I can see the first two tries I took are definitely probably more some swing trades that I'm gonna have to manage. Um after so long move it to break even, then just follow it. Um if those get to take profits, you know, shooting for five hundred, four hundred pips, whatever they was. Um those are home run trades. You know, great if it happens. Um, but this is kind of more of an intraday trade setup that I like. Um, that I do like, actually. Let's see. Um, in the meanwhile... Dollar still holding strong as of this moment. The dollar yen, I mean, the yen is weaker. But you know what that shows me, you all? Dollar Canada is. It. Um, it's not free falling yet, but it is dropping as the other um, currencies against the dollar are falling. So that lets me know, you know, hey, catch strong whenever the dollar do get weak like I expect it to be, it should free fall. Um, and you can see because oil is on a pretty good, nice little intraday bullish run as well. Pound dollar is tapping these lows. What would I look to enter this trade? I would like for us to take out these has here. And, and I do got a pretty clear exact trading strategy, you all. Um, well, I got rules. Everybody should have a trade plan. Um, kind of, um, you know, in your trade plan, uh, it's this thing called pair that I like to go to, like you pairs, you eat pair, however you say it, pair, P E A R. That is plan, execute, analyze, and refine. You got to plan your trading system, you got to execute it, you got to take the trades. After you execute the trades, like I said, it's not really about wins and loss. Uh, I mean, I guess some part of it is because I mean, you, we're all in this to make money. But you got to understand trading is just a mathematical game with numbers in it. You win some, you lose some. Hopefully, you got an edge um, that's going to generate alpha, generate profit for you at the end of it. But you want to analyze what you did to make adjustments to it. Um, and then you want to refine those to make them more tailor-made to yourself. Um, and that's how you, know, you get consistently profitable and develop a winning trading strategy. Pound dollar, euro pound. New Zealand. Oh, I, didn't see, I didn't see good setups on these. No way. Really just waiting on, I guess, six minutes, you all. Like I said, I, I said this video was going to be too long. I probably said that about 30 minutes ago. Like a pound, yeah. Still bullish on it. We didn't break this level yet. Still bullish on it. So that's how you know the cat is strong. The cat is beating up on pound um, Canadian. Let's see what it's doing against Euro cat. Beating up Euro cat. I mean, it's. Euro pound seems to be moving in the right direction. Still very early. It's 
It's being very stubborn about giving me the setup that I want, you all. It's been very stubborn. Give him he. Moon, Euro, Pound, Jurassic here. Four, sixteen. I don't think I put a tight profit level on here yet. Not sure what we're going to target. These high. Like I said, this is swing setup, you all. We really want to look for extended targets. Patience, you know, that's what, that's what these trades take, man. It takes patience. Do you got patience? Why uh, 800 pip trade is playing out? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. It'd be a blockbuster trade, I mean, if it if it goes that far, but realistically, what's going to happen, even ideally for a great trade, um, it'll be profitable. Um, Somewhere during the course of me moving up my stops, it'll probably get stopped out for a decent profit. That's probably what'll happen. Right there. Stand on don't like a bad trader. I mean, matter traders, freaking weird sometimes. Three minutes for a euro yen. Talking about 20 pips to make uh, about 76 75. Good three point, what's that? 3.2, 3.3 to 1. Let's see if I get this set up. Check back in on it. Oh, we did, we never looked at Euro source, did we? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Huh. Let's take this alert off. It's no longer really relative. Ten pips tonight. Twenty four. How is the Swiss right now? Swiss is pretty strong. Hmm. Hmm. Not that strong. Swiss again looks like this could be a good setup. I 
It do look like that could be a good setup. Euro yen. We got it. All right. Fair skin, 20 pips. So 1.5. So 25 pips. Hmm. Remember, take picture because after this, I'm gonna journal these trades. As soon as I get done with this video, got a little spreadsheet. I'm gonna put them in. I do like this setup. I published that, so I think that's going to probably be about it for today's video, you all. I mean, I know it was long. What time is it? It's 9, 17, so probably, this video is probably like mm, close to an hour of me just rambling on going through the markets. Hopefully, I hope you all found some type of value. Uh, most of you probably, you know, won't watch it until, like, a post into the Telegram channel. Hey, I made X amount of dollars on this trade. Hey, I... Got in these trades on live video. Uh, uh. So, like this, hopefully, I mean, I won't be surprised today. I mean, if, if it gets to where we need it to be. I think I took, what, two, three trades on today's um, live video. I think it was probably three trades. We'll see how they go, you all. I mean, if you follow me on the Telegram, uh, you know, if you follow me on the Telegram, you know, I'm going to post all of these trades. Uh, also, I got a live my affection book link to this so you all can follow the account live. Um, that's it's going to be about it, you all. Don't think I see nothing else. Might start to get that dollar weakness. Uh, make some, you're, make some, just some, some different plays. Just see what we get. Make some different type of plays. Uh -huh. Make sure I didn't miss nothing.
All right, you all, um, that is going to just about do it, um, wrap it up. I hope you all found value in this. If you did find value, as always, I'm probably watching this on the YouTube channel. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, join the free Telegram group. It's free, as you all can see. I post a lot of ideas, tips in there, um, blah, 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 everything I think that could help you become a profitable trader. Until next time, you all, you have a great weekend and stay safe and corona-free.